Okay, buddy. Uh, now we are moving forward to the next step, right? And th that step is named as balloon analogy, right? Do we know what is the meaning of analogy? Yes, sir. I know. Please share what is the meaning of analogy? Sir, sir actually the meaning of analogy is to demonstrate something uh, to get a conclusion. Suppose uh, if I have to know a meaning of something, so we can also explain it and somehow we demonstrate it by doing some of the activities that is called analogy. Exactly. Very well shared. Can you please clap for everybody? I just want to add some of the things, right? Analogy is a kind of theory to compare things to make understanding better right so if you want to understand anything in a better way you do analogy right so today we are going to do one very wonderful activity which will help us to understand this lesson resentment right and for that we have a very good toy to play with that right yes. and that is ta -ta -da, that is balloon Oh, right? Yeah. So we are going to use this. Okay? Yeah. Who would like to come on the stage, everybody, to volunteer as a student? Yes? Please welcome Utkarsh, everybody. Please clap for him. That's good. So, what are we going to do with the help of this balloon? We are going to blow up the balloon, right? Can you please do it? Yes, I can. Sir. Is your lung strong? Yes, it is. Let's see. Okay. Very good. We can cheer up everybody. We can cheer up. Yes. You can. That's good. Yes. Please do not release the air. Right? Yes. Hold this balloon. Now, suppose this balloon is your body. Right? Suppose this balloon is your body. And the air which you filled in this balloon is your anger. Right? And this is the anger in the balloon. What will happen if we pop up the balloon. Okay, sir, uh, if we pop up the balloon, it will be burst. It will burst, right? Yeah. And suppose if this is the anger of Najo, right? And if you burst your anger on somebody else, what will happen? Somebody is somebody is so angry with me. Hmm. Let's say you are angry, you are this balloon, you have angerness inside the balloon, right? If you burst on somebody, what will happen to that person? Somebody, somebody is hurt. Somebody is hurt. will hurt, right? Hurt. And it may create a conflict or a fight or a scenario which can be negative, yes. right? Yes. Hmm? And let's say we are not popping it, right? Let's say somebody made me anger, right? And I am going to release the whole anger in one go. What will happen? Right? What will happen, Vinay? Uh, the balloon will go just like you shared. The balloon will go hither and thither, here and there. Exactly. And uh, it will not be in control. So you can lose the control over balloons. Like uh, somehow if we get anger, so we lose the control over uh, oh, oh. Over our emotion, so we can speak anything to anyone, we can do anything to anyone, or we can uh, means uh, harm somebody. So that is why mm. it is very important to be in control. Exactly. So the air was filled in the balloon, that was our emotion, and that was our negative emotion. And if we blast it, burst it, or release it in one go, right, it will reflect on somebody and it will harm to somebody. Right? Yes, hmm? yes. So, do you want to learn a strategy? How can we release our anger in a better way? Yes. Do you want to learn how to control our anger? Yes. Okay. So, can you please uh, see? I'll take one more time. I'll check one more time that how your lung is strong. How much your lungs is strong, right? Yes. Okay. You can blow it once again. Sukash, you can. Utkash is very energetic person. Yes, right? yes. Good job. Okay, fine. Now, this time, the anger is inside the balloon once again. Right? So, Utkash, you will keep this balloon with yourself. Right? 
and see whenever we have anger we can use multiple strategies so one of that strategy we are going to use that is releasing our anger in a slow process yes right that is called letting go yeah. right that is called letting, letting go so you are going to use this uh, uh, strategy right you will first inhale okay right you will inhale breathe and then you will try to exhale breathe and while exhaling you will release the air slowly right yeah. right okay try it once more once more time So try it once more time. That's good. See, and everybody, whenever we get angry, right, we start breathing very fast, right? We do like that, yes. right? Yes. So whenever we, whenever you get angry at that moment, you can do one thing: you can inhale the breath and you try to exhale the breath, right? And this is how you will try to control your anger. Did you get everybody? Yes. And what will be the impact if we do like that? Okay. What, do you want to say something? Yeah. What if we release our anger in a slow process? What will happen? If uh, we release our anger in a slow process, it can help us to be calm. And if uh, there is any kind of scenario, uh, that in that scenario, we just have to be angry. So it helps us to be calm in that situation that, and that uh, the fight mm -hmm. uh, can be happen. It can be uh, avoided from our side. It can help us to be calm. Calm. Exactly. Can anybody else add something? Yes, Sajay? Mm -hmm. Yes. So uh, whenever we started uh, exhale or in hell, so mm -hmm. it means uh, first of all we have calm and the situation we can handle it very smoothly uh, mm. we can say we can handle the situation uh, with full concentration, concentration uh, yes. with full mindfulness right yes. so we can use our concentration as well we yes. can come uh, overcome any kind of bad situation as well right so yes. it will help us to concentrate and handling the situations very good very well shared Thank you so much. Can you please pass the chance? Yes. When we feel, uh, when we release these things, then we, that times we feel uh, relaxed. Exactly. And it helps us as well uh, to be mentally fit and to be mentally uh, healthy, right? Yes. Mentally active. Right. So this is a kind of activity which we can do everybody to uh, release our anger and stay calm, stay concentrated and this activity will help you. I hope you have understood how to stop resentment, right? how to stop ourselves to hold grudges. Right everybody? Yes. Thank you so much. I hope we have learned something. Do you want to say something? Please share. Yes, sir, uh, I say her one on uh, one movie is three year. There hmm. is professor Mister I don't know name virus uh, virus yes. yes. Uh, when he was angry, he was smiling on the face and hmm. more smiling and uh, laughing. I I watched that movie. I mm -hmm. uh, watched this movie. It mm -hmm. is the control of anger. Exactly. So see, he was not trying to uh, dominate the anger in uh, on his body control, right? Yes. He was using one strategy which one will strategy. help that person to control his emotions. Yes. Right. Yes. And that's a good strategy. We can use different strategy. You can take a break. You can share a joke. Right. You can um, avoid that person for a moment. Yes. Right. You can go and sit silently alone. Right. You can think any better ideas. These ideas will help you to yes. control your resentment and to create a better relationship, everybody. Yes. yes. Right. Yes. Okay. Fine. That's all for the day. Uh, thank please. You thank you. Thank you. for Can you please clap for him? Because he has helped us. Please take your seat.